Hey everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox, and in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, use a Fretboard Toolbox CGDA edition to build the four most important scales that you want to be able to use in the key of C. So it's going to be C major, the C major pentatonic, C minor pentatonic, and then the C blue scale. And I'll show you how to visualize those all up and down the fretboard. Um, of a tenor guitar here, but the same addition works for uh, tenor banjo and mandola also. So all the finger positionings I'm showing you on this today are the same for all those instruments because they're all tuned C, G, D, A. So let me show you how that works. Okay, to visualize all these scales, we're going to look at a fretboard toolbox complete C, G, D, A edition. And we're going to turn to page 19, which is going to be the key of C major page. And what we're going to want to focus on in this page is the fretboard jig down at the bottom here. And the notes in white boxes are the notes of the C major scale, and they're also the notes of the A natural minor scale, but today we're just going to worry about the C major scale. So the notes of the C major scale going up here are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then you can see the fret numbers that correspond with each of those notes. And then you'll see that those notes repeat all up and down the fretboard here. So if I want to be able to play a, um, a uh, ma C major scale from, let's say, this C note to this C note, um, I can play an open C on the four strings, the big fat strings, and then a D on the second fret, E on the fourth fret, F on the fifth fret, open G on the third string, a, B, C. And that looks like this on a tenor guitar. And if you had a mandola or a tenor banjo, it would be the same. So I've got um, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now if I'm at this C note and I want to get up to this C note, I can play C, open D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So let me show you how that works. Here I'm on the C note on the third string, fifth fret. So I got C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So being able to see those notes is huge because you pick out so many melodies from them. And uh, just by messing around with the order of the notes, you can uh, pick out just little kind of uh, silly melodies and things. <laughs> So just being able to noodle around with notes that are in the key is, uh, is a great practice because uh, you're not just working on straight up and down scales, but you're working on being able to actually kind of pick out uh, various melodies out of those notes. So I want to know the major scale notes because I'm going to pick out so many melodies from them. I also want to know the major pentatonic notes because you hear the uh, pentatonic scales talked about a lot and it's important to be able to see them. So if I look across here on the top row of the C major chord here, this, uh, all the notes in white boxes are in the C major scale. So it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, or Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, if you know that system. So these notes in white boxes up here and all these notes in white boxes all correspond with all these notes in white boxes and they're all white because they're all in the C major uh, key here. Then for the pentatonic scale, pentatonic scale notes are underlined in my books. So the notes out of, this, out of these seven that are underlined is C, D, E, not F, G and A are underlined, and B is not. So the only difference between a major scale and a pentatonic scale is that the major scale has seven notes going across here until you get back to the C, and a pentatonic just has five. So it's the one note, the two note, the three note, the five, and the six notes. So being able to see the major pentatonic scales is important because you hear them talked about so much. And So if I want to get from this C to this C playing only pentatonic notes, uh, I would play the notes C, D, E, and I'm going to skip F, G, A, C. So that would look like this on the tenor guitar. So I got C is open. So C, D, E, G is open on the third string. A, C. So that was just... Um, 
being silly and goofing around with notes that are in the major pentatonic there. The pentatonic scale going from C to C here would be C, D, E, G, A, C. So I'm going to go um, third string, fifth fret, C, D, E, G, A, C. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's that C note. So that's C, D, E, G. A is open, first string. C. So then I was just playing around with notes going down there in the pentatonic scale. So you want to know your major scale notes. Those are white boxes. You want to know your um, pe major pentatonic notes. Those are underlined. And then you're also going to see um, like some bluesy kind of things that you're going to want to be able to play. And so uh, what I have on this page is a different set of notes in white boxes. Over here I have um, the C major scale notes are still there, so that's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, just like the other page. But now what I've got is uh, the um, notes that are in the C minor pentatonic scale are in white boxes. The uh, C major scale notes are still underlined, so that one I just played uh, a minute ago was C, D, E, G, A, C. Those are still underlined, major pentatonic notes, or C, D, E, G, A, C. So I still have all those on this page, but then I also have these white box notes, the minor pentatonic notes, and these are going to give a way different sound right off the bat. So um, if I'm going from C to C using the minor pentatonic scale, I'm going to use the notes C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. So that would look like this. C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C. So that has a, a bluesier sound right off the bat because you're using the, uh, the minor pentatonic scale and that's the kind of bluesy scale. Um, the cool thing about bluesy kind of music is that you can play a, a minor pentatonic scale when you're using major chords. So when you're playing C major chord, um, C major, F major, G major chords, or you're playing a bluesy kind of progression like this, then these white box notes are going to sound real cool in there. And then uh, to see how that minor pentatonic's made, um, the, uh, if you look at this section of, of the toolbox, um, you'll see major scales use notes in the one through seven columns. Major pentatonics use one, two, three, five, six. Minor pentatonics now use one, flat three, four, five, flat seven. So if I look up here, I got my one from the major scale. Flat three, is uh, is from the bluesy scale. So in the major scale, I'd go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, using the one, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven notes, uh, the ones in those columns. But in the minor pentatonic, I'm going to use one, flat three, four, five, and then flat seven. So I'm skipping the two note, I'm skipping the three note, I'm skipping the six, and I'm skipping the seven. I'm replacing a few of those ones with a flat three and a flat seven. So that's going to make all kinds of cool scales. Um, if I want to play C to C here, uh, C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C, that would look like this. I got C here, C, E flat, F, G, B flat, C, and then from this C I can play, I can play C, E flat, C. E and then B flat and slide back up to C. So there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do just by playing around with those scales. And then the last scale I want to show you is the blues scale or what some folks would call the blues scale and that's where you take the minor pentatonic scale and you just add a flat five note to it. So in the key of C the five note is a G so the flat five is going to be a G flat and I put that as an asterisk in my books just because uh, there's already so much going on in my books as, there, as it is. So it's just uh, taking one more note out of there. But I can see my flat fives really fast. And then the cool thing is if someone shows me a lick that you know, goes from a, a flat five up to the five, then I can do that anywhere on the fretboard because I, I, I know which notes I'm using. So the C to C up here, um, using the blue scale, I would go C, E flat, F, G flat, G, B flat, C. So that looks like this. C, E flat, F, 
G flat, G, B flat, C. So that's uh, that's all there is to see, being able to see these scales all up and down the fretboard. But the cool thing about a fretboard toolbox is that there's a page like that for for uh, all 14 major relative minor and blues keys. So when you can see all of that information for each of the scales, then it really starts opening up some cool ideas. So I appreciate you taking a look and I hope you found something useful in there today. And uh, I'll have lots more videos coming, so thanks for stopping by.